everybody. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Hello, everybody. How do you do? How do you do today? How are you? Show me with your thumbs up or your thumbs down. Are you great? Are you okay? I want to know how you are. Guess what? We are celebrating Earth Day today. Happy Earth Day. I'm going to read you this special book all about the Earth in just a second. But before we do that, let's go over our letter X one more time. Remember Alex hurt his leg while using an axe? So he went to see X the fox, an excellent doctor. Alex had to stand behind a black box so X the fox could get an exact x-ray of his leg. X, X, X is the sound the x-ray machine made when X the fox took the x-ray picture. X, 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 X the fox took another x-ray. X, 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 he took one more x-ray. X the fox had to take three excellent x-rays to see if Alex broke his leg. Afterwards, Alex had to go home and relax his leg for an extra long time. So remember, make your hands like a little camera and take a picture and make the sound letter X make X, X, X. Very good. And you can make an X with your fingers, with your arms, with your body. You try and figure out that. And we could trace it in the air too. Try that. Trace your X in the air. Very nice. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Earth Day and this book is called The Earth Book by Todd Parr. And I think it's going to talk about how beautiful our Earth is. That's why I'm outside doing circle time because it is such a beautiful day on our Earth. And let's go to our title page. The Earth Book by Todd Parr. We're going to learn some ways to take care of the Earth and things that we have to love about the earth in this book. I take care of the earth because I know I can do little things every day to make a big difference. I use both sides of the paper and bring my own bags to the market because I love the trees, and I want the owls to have a place to live. I turn off the faucet while I brush my teeth and use less water for my baths because I love the fish, and I want the oceans to stay blue. I take the school bus and ride my bike because I love the stars and I want the air to be clear so I can see them sparkle. I try to eat every bite on my plate and save my leftovers because I love watching things grow, and I want there to be enough food for everyone. Mm. I remember to turn off the lights and shut the refrigerator to save energy because I love the polar bears, and I want the snowmen to stay cool. I throw garbage in the trash can and recycle glass, aluminum, and paper plastic because I love to walk barefoot in the grass and I don't want to move to Mars. <laughs> Most of all, I help take care of the earth. Wow, look at all those pretty animals. I help take care of the earth because I want us all 
all to be happy and healthy. Beautiful. Okay, here's 10 ways I can help the earth. Number one, turn off the lights. Number two, recycle. Number three, save my leftovers. Number four, be nice to the worms. Number five, share a book. Number six, plant a tree. Number seven, use both sides of the paper. Number eight, save water. Number nine, clean up trash. Number 10, put my underwear in the freezer when it's hot. What? <laughs> so funny. Every one of us can help protect the earth and make it feel good. Remember, if we take care of it, it will take care of us. Love, Todd. Todd is so silly. He wrote this book and he told us to put our underwear in the freezer? What? <laughs> what else can we do? We can turn off the lights and use both sides of our paper and not waste them. There are so many good ideas. So I have a couple little activities for you guys to do. First of all, I want your help making some patterns. So come on over. So the earth is made up of blue water, like in the Todd Parr book. See the blue water on the earth? It's also made up of land. So we have like rocks and green for the land. And I want to take some of these and make some patterns out of them. So. The first pattern I think you guys will be really good at. It's going to start with blue. And then let's get a green mar flat marble here. And then let's go back to blue. Now, if I wanted to make this into a pattern, I would add a green one. And then I would have a pattern. Blue, green, blue, green. Does anybody know what comes next in my pattern? I want to keep this pattern going. Blue, green, blue, green, blue, that's right. Now, if we want to continue our pattern, we can add green and blue, green and blue. And then we have a really nice pattern. Blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, blue. Now, if we were to mess up our pattern, we might add a rock and then our pattern wouldn't be no longer, right? Let's see how many flat marbles we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine flat marbles. So there's our number nine. Okay, let's try another pattern. So if we put these all back, Let's start this time with a brown rock or a kind of a tan rock and then a blue and then a green. And then I'm gonna keep my pattern going by adding another tan rock and a blue and a green. Does anybody know what would come next in my pattern? It's kind of tricky. We've got rock, blue, green, rock, blue, green, What's next? Rock! And then after the rock, we want another blue. And after blue, we want another green. Hooray! So we have a nice pattern here. Rock, blue, green. Rock, blue, green. Rock, blue, green. Rock! Let's count these. We've got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten items for our pattern. You guys can make patterns at home too. You don't need any of these flat marbles. You could go out and find different kinds of rocks to make a pattern. You could use beans or rice. You could also try different toys. If you have a set of Legos and you have a set of blocks, you could make a pattern with them. Okay, I want to show you one more thing that you could do to celebrate Earth Day.
So I have just made this pretty little paper here. It looks a lot like Todd's Earth. So it has a circle to represent the Earth because our Earth that we live on is round. And it also has little pieces that represent the land and the water. And you can see that on Todd's Earth too. He's got water and land. And a lot of times people represent the water and the land with blue and green. So if you have your grown-up, or you can do it, draw a big circle for you on the paper and then some landmarks, you can make a fun little Earth Day project to show how much you love the Earth. So I put a little bit of paint, kind of a lot of green, but a little bit of blue and a little bit of green is all it takes. And you can do some fingerprints all over your Earth to create a little Earth Day project. Then you wipe off your blue and you get a little bit of green and put that on the land ones. And pretty soon you have a pretty Earth. And then you can ask your grown-up to help you, or you can do it on your own. Write something that you love about the Earth. You know what I love about the Earth? I love the forests. So on the bottom of my paper, I would write, I love forests. And you can come up with something you love about the earth. You could love swimming in the lakes. You could love climbing the mountains. You could love swinging from a tree. There's so many things to love about this earth. I want you to try that at home. Now, if you don't have any paint, you could use markers to color in your earth. You could also use watercolors if you have some of those or you could use crayons or colored pencils and come up with something that you love about the earth. And I hope you have fun celebrating and even if it's rainy, go outside and enjoy our earth. I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Happy Earth Day!